the types of projects we've been engaged in in, uh, in, 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 our, in our international work are, are wide ranging really. They, they span from the Leonardo type projects which are coordinated for Craig Camry, Comenius projects which are standalone projects, together with some international projects with higher education institutions and also for the British Council. So we've in, involved with quite a number. And on top of that, we have the UK license holder for Penn International, which is a virtual learning company uh, in terms of trading uh, as, as businesses across the globe. One of our strategic aims is, is to deliver a curriculum that's, that's meeting the needs of our people and employers of Wales. Well, obviously now within the 21st century, it's a global community, so we need to extend that internationally. And we're all about social, social mobility. And so if we can give opportunities to our staff and learners to ex experience those opportunities, then it's only going to hold them in good stead for the future. We were very, very lucky to get a Michelin Star restaurant um, in one of the uh, top hotels in Barcelona. Uh, we didn't know until we would just go in um, and the students were very excited about that. Uh, the, the, the Europass was uh, something that the students have to write in, or write in their experience of what they've done over in the uh, Barcelona uh, restaurant and then that will stay with them um, and they can go then to a, an interview with them so that the interviewer will see that they've uh, travelled abroad, worked abroad um, and got the experience that, that they had abroad. It was a bit daunting at first. The first night it was a bit nervous. But once I got in it and got down to it, it was a blast, it was really fun. In the kitchen, the teamwork was a real eye-opener because I found a lot of the chefs didn't actually need, need to speak to each other. They could get the job done just by little coups with their eyes or just they knew if something was put in front of them, they knew what they had to do with that thing. Like completely opposite to what you see on the TV here, where the chefs are screaming at each other, get this done, get that done. Over there, they barely had to speak to each other. Even even the waiters, you know, the waiters would come in, they'd know where the food was going, the chef would need to shout, or this table, that table. And it was, it was an eye opener. By the end of the placement, I picked up quite a bit of Spanish. Um, I was quite confident that I was able to deal with the pressure of being in a, a, a high demand environment in a place where I don't speak the language and um, I was able to deal with that pressure and it's given me the confidence to work in places like Cardiff or Bristol or London even and not bad than I live because I know I can do it in Barcelona.